with the story of a bridge, a riverboat, and a shared page in history. Steve takes us back in time in this week's edition of Rock Island Arsenal Inside the Gates. In the mid-1850s, there was a race on the rails between the North and South, a battle to build the first railroad across the Mississippi. The North won, and the bridge Colonel George Davenport first envisioned a decade earlier took center stage in a national drama. History was made on April 22, 1856, when the first railroad bridge to cross the Mississippi officially opened, allowing trains to travel from Rock Island to Davenport. It was the largest and heaviest draw span bridge in the world at that time. But beneath the smooth surface of the Mississippi, tensions churned, and not just between the north and south. And trouble was on the way in the form of a paddle wheel riverboat named the Effie Afton, which for some unknown reason was heading upstream. Dr. Paul Ferguson is an archivist for the U.S. Army Joint Munitions Command. He says the Afton had a regular route between Louisville and New Orleans. That was its route. It had never previously been north of St. Louis until basically the day they heard that the bridge was open. The bridge opening was a milestone moment for transportation in America, but not everyone was happy. And while there's no proof that Effie Afton was on a mission to destroy the bridge, there's plenty of evidence to make it look that way. They started steaming north of St. Louis with no cargo and no established destination logged. The Afton reached Rock Island May 5th. The next day, they pulled out into river traffic on its final voyage. They challenged another boat to a race. They passed through the draw span, but about 200 feet upstream, the side paddle wheel stopped working, and the Afton floated backward with the current. Rams into one of the piers of the bridge, bounces off that, rams into another pier of the bridge. According to the captain and crew, a uh, stove overturned during this collision, it's on fire. Within five minutes, the boat had burned down to the waterline and set the bridge on fire. The draw span on the brand new bridge was a total loss. When the draw span fell into the river, all of the river boats on the river started tooting their horns in celebration that the bridge had been destroyed. So why the celebration? The railroad was competition for river boats, both north and south. But the next competition would be in the courtroom. The Effie Afton floated downstream less than a mile before sinking just on the other side of where the current Arsenal Bridge is. Round one of the boat versus train battle is over. Wow, that's very interesting. Okay, so that's round one, but what is round two then? Well, round two is fought actually in the courtroom and launches a lawyer into the national spotlight, a name you might recall. The case ultimately ends up in the Supreme Court, and we'll have that story in next Thursday night's edition. Wow, I can't wait to see that. Very interesting stuff. Thank you very much, Chloe. And the Arsenal, as you may have heard, is celebrating its 150th anniversary on Saturday.